Denver travels to New Orleans to take on the Saints. Denver will be a two and a half point favorite on the road with a total sitting at 37, according to the Wager Talk live odds page. Welcome, everyone. I'm Andy from wagertalk.com. We're going to give out a prop that we like, and we're going to give out a pick on the total in this game, sitting at 37. If you guys could hit the like button, I really appreciate it. Give me a comment in the comment section. Tell me what you like in this game. If you can't come up with a hot take, code word of the day is Kane. If you just want to help out and type something in the comment section to boost the algorithm for me, C-A-N-E. I love responding to everybody. and happy to have you guys here. Let's break down this game. So I always like to take a look at yards per play. Uh, we'll start with the offenses, uh, how we're doing in yards per play. And it's not that great this year. New Orleans, uh, 5.3 yards per play on the season. Last week, Spencer Rattler was 4.6 yards per play uh, in his debut Denver, 4.7 yards per play on the season. Last week, though, uh, they did they did outperform that. They were at 6.0 yards per play. So a little uptick there for the Denver offense. Opponents, yards per play, bad news for New Orleans. They are second worst at 6.1. Only the Rams are worse in yards per play. Denver, big advantage. They are only giving up 4.4 yards per play on the season. So that defense has uh, really been doing well for them. We can take a look at some other uh, defensive numbers. Um, the Broncos and Saints are tied. They've only given up five passing touchdowns. So, uh, you know, when you're scoring on them, uh, it's certainly not up to this point. It has not been through the air. As far as rushing touchdowns, though, the Saints have given up seven and we scroll all the way down for the Broncos. They've only given up four. So, um, interesting uh, numbers there. As far uh, as far as the offenses go, um, when you look at yards per attempt, <laughs> uh, Denver's just not throwing the ball very long. 5.5 yards uh, per attempt. The only quarterback worse is Deshaun Watson, to the surprise of absolutely no one. So uh, the Saints have been moving the ball through the air a little bit better, 7.1 uh, on the season. Of course, uh, Spencer Rattler gets a start last week. 22 of 40 for 243 yards. Two interceptions, one touchdown. He took five sacks. Um, yikes. <laughs> Might look at some sack props uh, for them. So, all right. So what are we doing here uh, for this game? Well, I will tell you that the New Orleans Saints, I just don't think should be sitting at a total of 37. Uh, so I'm going to take the over. I know it's Thursday night football. I know the Denver Broncos have a good defense, but look at some of these point totals that the Saints have been getting involved with. 51-27. Against Tampa Bay, uh, Kansas City week before Kansas City, great defense. That game still goes over this 37 total 26 to 13 before that at Atlanta, 26, 24, another over. Uh, the only time they've gone under this total was uh, week three against Philly in that 15 to 12 game. But before that 44, 19 against Dallas before that 47 to 10, this is a defense that just these games end up being track meets and I know Denver is not really an offense that you would think could put up a ton of points but you look at you know what Bo Nix has done you know 26 20 last week against Denver that's 46 points against a bad defense against Pittsburgh the week before that only uh, you know 13 to 6 that was week two um, I said Seattle uh, last week. Seattle was first game of the season. Sorry, guys. So as we're getting throughout the season, 26 to 7 against Tampa, uh, the Jets, great defense, 10 to 9. And then last couple weeks here, Las Vegas, they put up 34 points uh, against the Raiders. So that, that game was 34 18. That goes over. And then the Chargers, 23 16. You know, it's a lower scoring game, but it still goes over this 37 points. And the Chargers are a team that likes to run the ball. I think their defense is pretty good. So I'm looking at the Broncos who have been able to put up some points against some bad defenses. And I look at the saints that their defense is just not stopping anybody. Um, short week for Spencer Rattler. I actually think it may help him a little bit more because there's just not enough time between last week's game and this Thursday game to put a ton of plays, you know, into the playbook, add a bunch of stuff to his plate. It's like, got to keep it simple. Let's build on what we saw last week. So, my pick for this game is going to be over 37. I think that might be a contrarian play. I think most people are thinking that this game will go under. I think we're going to see some points just based on the uh, the Saints defense. Uh, let's do a prop here, and then I'll tell you guys about a special that we have up over at Wager Talk. My prop is going to be Spencer Rattler over 21 and a half yards rushing. So he rushed the ball four times last week for 27 yards. I, I said before the game, I wish I would have taken – him over his rushing. I feel I'm, I'm going to regret it. And sure enough, he goes over. He had a 16 yard rush. 
now there's no Olave. Um, so if this Broncos defense is, you know, doing good in the secondary, and I know they're missing one of their big playmakers in the secondary, I still think they've got the defense to, you know, shut down some wide receivers. I think Rattler tucks the ball and runs here. Like there's only so many touches you can give Alvin Kamara. So I, I, I it would not be surprised if Rattler runs the ball uh, even more than four. In fact, his rush attempts is four and a half at minus 155. I don't know if they're expecting some kneel downs or, or what, but the books are telling you he's going to run four or five times. Um, if he does, I think he gets over this 21 and a half. So I will take Spencer Rattler as my favorite prop in this one to go over 21 and a half. And we'll take a look at the over 37 points for the game. I uh, mentioned uh, we have a special uh, for everybody. 5% PFL and UFC pack is up. We already have three plays uploaded to that, including the uh, the 5% uh, best, best bet of the look. It's a doozy. Those of you that have already gotten know what it is. So I'm very excited for that. You can use uh, wt.buzz slash al as the uh, shortcut there. And uh, full disclosure, we always do our uh, weekly recap, and we always let everyone know how our week is going and how our year is going, good or bad. 2024 continues to to be really nice. This is our record as of Monday. We always do our weekly recaps on Monday. 458 wins, 297 losses, plus uh, 147.85 units at an 8.5% ROI. I believe we're 3-1 and one this week already, so already off to a really, really good start. Um if you go to the wager talk deals page, uh, the best one that is available right now is for long term. If you have not locked in to our plays long term, first off, what are you waiting for? Plus 91 units last year, plus 147 units this year. We're really, really hoping we can get to that 175 units. So we've shown you long term success. We've shown you short term success. And you can get the uh, 2025, you can get a full year. And you can get the rest of 2024. It's a really good deal. Hockey has just started. NBA is right around the corner. Um, so you're going to get all those plays, all of our 5% plays, all of our MMA plays, all of our cross-sport parlays. And I know people smirk at this, but the Darts World Championship is in December. It's been a big money maker for us. Darts has been incredible. Uh, Corbin, who does all of our Darts places at 70% of his bets this year. Those are available on sports books and it comes with all of our plays, uh, long-term access. So if you're looking for that, uh, by 2025, get the rest of 2024 for free. Um, $1,799. It's a very, very good deal considering you're going to get the rest of October plus November plus December added on. So 147 units, um, just fantastic. So we're looking forward to cashing even more bets uh, for everyone. So, all right, that's going to do it for us. Code word of the day in the comment section is Kane, C-A-N-E. Tell me your best bet if you like it, whether it be a prop, a spread, or a total. Always like hearing from you guys in the comment section. Good luck on your place, and we'll see everyone later.